Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Grandest Land. I am Benjamin Magnus. I am joined once again by Midgeman to host the first few hours of day number two. Midgeman, say hello. Hello, everybody. How are we all doing today? So, um, the big war, Prussia v. Milan, that's what we're going to have yeah, to focus yeah, yeah. on. And there's some other player wars going on in India, so we're going to want to have to, we're going to want to switch, switch back and forth between the two. Holy moly, these losses already. I know, right? at, in, just just a rundown for anyone who might have missed it. We've got the Netherlands, oh, sorry, Serbia, Bakshira, Sarisia, uh, Netherlands, Nogai, Prussia, Ruthenia, Theodoro, and Volgast versus Milan, Ethiopia, Provence, Swabia, and the Papacy. Take a look at the losses, losses though, because yeah. uh, especially on on uh, the other side of the war, it's pretty pretty stark. Ooh, oh, oh, someone Milan. just left. Someone just left on Milan's side. Swabia is out. Swabia just left the war as we spoke. Then, yep, Swabia I saw that. just pieced out. So now look at this matchup. It's almost half. The Papacy and Milan are outnumbered essentially by half. They're down and to 152k infantry, 800 cavalry, and 82k in cannons. The maybe the, didn't change obviously because Swabia. The Pope's broke and has no manpower right now. We yep. looked at that at the end of the last um, uh, stream. The the Pope has no manpower, which oh, is why no, their armies are sitting at sub levels. <laughs> So I think I I think Swabia separate piecing out is going to be a bone of contention in the future. But we were talking about that before it started. Uh, we should we do you know what we should have done? We should have disabled that music pack <laughs> earlier. So uh, oof, uh, everybody everybody that well, it was me and Count Cristo and and Josh at the end there and they were yeah. we were talking about who we thought was going to win and they were like I don't know Prussia is uh Prussia's looking pretty rough right now I was like no nope, all Prussia Prussia's winning this and I think I think I'm right about that the Pope Prussia's isn't winning. as broke as he was is he getting subsidy subsidy I'm talking about manpower yeah. Midge zero oh. manpower okay yeah I mean cash I doesn't matter in this well. manpower matters. Yeah, okay, there's no man. You can't merc spam like you could before. That's oh, you're correct. Milan is losing money and they're almost out of manpower. But I believe that you said I remember seeing. Oh, oh, did you just see that? Look at Milan's leader. I didn't notice that before. 666. God leader. I mean, that's the the bonuses of being a grand republic, I guess. That's why they're so debbed as well. Yeah, how old is that gentleman? The war just ended. The war just full ended while we were talking. Did anything um, change? I'm trying to look. I think that was a massive white piece at this point. Uh, the player war in uh, India is over too. Everything just... Everyone was like, nope, fruit, new day. Every, That's day, fresh reset. day two, wipe the slate. Okay. <laughs> it's because I'm here. They don't want to do player wars while I'm here. They're saving them for later. Did clearly. they... Uh... Did Dalmatia... Wait, was it only Dalmatia? Is that the only change? My lord. Really? How many how many oh my god, how how much dev is that province? Istria. Uh or the former Istria. It's twenty one. Uh, Dalmatia's down here, but that that it was okay, you, you had it you had it right the yeah, first yeah, time. It was yeah, that yeah. province. Was that it, really? Well was that? I gotta say a million men died for Istria. I think there were some other. I think there were some other map changes too, but that was the the gist of it. It was, oh, and Byzantium's gone now. Uh, that, that was Caraman. That was a separate war, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that was a separate war, but it was uh, they were sitting on it for a while because I think the AI went brain dead on that one. Oh, of course. Yeah, I think I heard about that as well. What okay, so I was really here, thinking anything? that was going to go into a knockdown, drag out kind of the war of our times kind of thing. But no, um, 1.6 million people died and very little changed. I mean, World War One to a nutshell right there. Um, just everyone's broke now. So Netherlands is sweeping into England, cleaning that up. Um, yeah, I mean... They have such a dominance over here. I am very surprised that the dev team... Not, they've only got one... Uh, world, world poor. I'd thought they'd have more right now. Really make 
the most of the uh, extra naval force limit you get from that and the, the, the trade, but okay, okay. The uh, Paradox team there let me down. And um, <laughs> somebody just asked if Jerusalem is still Catholic. Jerusalem is still Catholic, but in really name only, because they Why? only have one Catholic province. Why are they still Catholic? At this point, form Egypt. I, I like or, or Egypt or Arabia, because they have some really good idea groups. Uh, if you want to do trade, Arabia is really good for that, especially if you're going trade ideas, which I think is a total waste. Oh, well, see what I what I don't Mamluk get is separatists as well. You, went like, uh, you go economic ideas to buff to improve your economy, but what would improve your economy a lot is not have to dump everything, all your money into uh, um, corruption like, because you have seven percent religious unity. Oh, they've still got an Abadi province. You got one. They got one. Beat me up, Scotty. Swabia is at war. Oh, by France. France, yeah. Teaming up with Brittany to do so. They probably they must have an accord then on where the borders mm -hmm. lie. Yeah. The Pope seems to have grabbed a little bit more territory down here as well. I think, like, so it's going to be Pope. That's going to all be. I think this is all going to Brittany at this point. I think they are trying to. I think Swabi is trying to block Netherlands by using Brittany as a buffer state at this point. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. Brittany as a buffer state's pretty useless. Okay, as a battleground to die on. Uh, then <laughs> they, I there mean, goes France. Okay. Well, there's still there's still four French provinces left. They, they, they can pull Paris. it out. Swabia got Paris there, and now the Netherlands is in France. Three wars Looks there. Like there was a vassal released in the south too. Uh, yes, to lose. France asked what they've got to lose, and uh, turns out <laughs> it was that England has been uh, kicked out of England. Yeah, I think they're. Re I think they still exist as a tag. I think they're over. Here. Uh, I thought I saw them over here. Uh, they've but I got a colony in um, South America. Oh wait, no, uh, the Dutch took it. The Dutch took it. Yeah, I was going to say. I, I don't I, see yeah, them anymore. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. It's bye. <laughs> The Dutch have colonies all over the place, and I kind of love it. They've just got these little dots spreading out all over the map. Yeah, and if they get that, if they get down here to those glorious spice islands before we go, I'm wondering how much longer we're going to have Friesland on the map. Are they yeah. going to? What, what tags can they form? They could form what? Westphalia. Westphalia. If they get some land from. Um, they don't have. There, there's not that much more land. No, they for them can to form. Expand they can into. form Hanover if they get Lundberg, which. Looks like they're on. Wait, who's on that right now? Um, Liège. I think it's just AI. It's AI on AI. I think that's just an AI. Oh no, Prussia. Oh, Prussian League War. Oh, interesting. That's the what's we that weakest league war ever. <laughs> I mean, it's Prussia's gonna win. So that's it's nothing. Why Prussia it's, is. I don't think there's any players on the other side. No, there isn't. Not anymore. Because Ooh. I think because the others have truces. Although, although the, like the World War of the 1550s was pretty much the religious war. Yeah. So this is the religious war. It's yeah, no players, just Prussia and the Netherlands as players in this. It's just Prussia slapping around so, a couple AIs right now. Yeah. It's what. Ch I, check out the that, alliance that. change for Serbia, Carbon, Georgia. So Serbia I mean, and Carmen and Jerusalem and Ruthenia are together. That that leaves Georgia out. Oh, oh no, poor Georgia again. Georgia out. left out in the cold oh. once more. Gujarat is his closer closest ally. Currently fighting AI, which are As, about yeah, powerful, just doing some but... expansion, trying to get to the Persian yeah. Gulf, probably. Yeah. Which uh, look south. South. South? Where am I looking south? Okay. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Tell me when you see it. I have a mic here, so if it's something directly behind my mic... Uh, oh, here. Put it on political map mode. Maybe that'll help. Oh, Andalusia! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. 
<laughs> I was a huge typeface. I figured you'd be able to see. Anywho, they grabbed what they needed from Granada and formed Andalusia, and it looks like they're gobbling up what's left at Iberia. That's a great move for Telemkin. And did they pick the idea group? They did. They go for the Andalusian ideas. Andalusian which, ideas are pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty decent. I like this. Although, I mean, I feel like that uh, that colonist may have been uh, good to have, you know, Much 100 earlier. years ago. I'm going to go back to um, Andalusia. They're allied to Caraman and the Papacy. They've had close ties with the Papacy ever since the, like, third Tlemcen got slapped down by, by the AI war. Mm -hmm. uh, player map mode real quick. People want to see that. Player map mode. Here you are. Makes, makes the world easier to look at in terms of who's where. Except Let's... for Prussia. They just don't Let's... show up on the map because they're gray. That'd be interesting. Jerusalem has rebels. Are they religion flipping? Check Jerusalem's rebels. What kind are they? I think it's still the independent. That's not religious rebels. rebels. No, they're just in a war. No, it's just they just got. They're gonna have separatists all over the place because of their seven percent religious unity. Yeah, and they're just jumping on the Mamluks, probably trying to grab Cairo. You know, even more really high dev Sunni provinces that they probably. I'm being be told taking. that Russia's milking China for cash. Oh, are they just declaring war, getting cash? jumping mm. back out again i mean fair they've got the men to do it they've got the uh, how's the dev team do doing right now dev team is uh wrecking the economy of the world right now far and away the richest team followed by milan those two are definitely playing a heavy economic game yeah i i think milan is in a position where they have to because they've had to essentially build tall um and it's the only way that from the early game they, they were being cut off really early game and they've done the right thing they've built tall and they've gone for an economic victory and y you saw it they they could go one to one on prussia we've had another piece out well swabia just tag switched to france okay that's a bold move cotton did they t i'm assuming they they went with french ideas right uh -huh -huh. The Grand Republic of France. Yeah. They've got the French ideas. Huh. I didn't see that coming. Oh, you know what? They were just waiting. Yeah, they, they were waiting for France to get wiped off the map. That's all they were doing. France just did. That's why they took Paris. Well, also, I mean, it's like 20-something devs, so <laughs> there's a lot of reason. Orthodox Grand Republic oh, of France. and the official cat of the grandest land is here once again. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Hey, hi, bud. I mean, I like it as a choice. Um, it For sure, their armies are a lot more potent now. I mean, French... French oh, oh, yeah. French God. ideas are nothing to shake a idea at. Yeah, that's... Iberia is getting gobbled up by Andalus, so that's all going soony. Yeah. Ireland's colony is growing again. Uh, yeah. You, you, you say that, but again, they they live at the whims of the other players. Again, yeah. I would really like to see them tag switch to, like, America or just, Hang like... On. Just How did go. Kato get so big? Kato. Uh, uh, they, took, they took land from... Spanish they took Castile. land from Castile, and I think maybe from England, too, because that's, that's, like, an OPM, like, wandering tribe normally. Yeah. Yep. Culture yeah, English. they took they took land, they took land from the English. English and from the from Castile. That's great. I love that. That that's that's really that's really cool. Go on native C tribes. Cato into Nahuatl into Sunset Invasion. Let's do it. <laughs> blue flames. Yes, get a player in there. Right Prussia. Now. Prussia. Blue flames in Friesland. Prussia and Friesland. Is this the death of three Friesland? Prussia has declared war on Friesland. Have oh, not... Friesland stands alone. Oh, they're dead. Fre Friesland has conquest Sealy. Oh, because they're the emperor. For now, Friesland wasn't in the Empire anymore, maybe? No, they're Friesland? in the Empire. Oh. What? Friesland started this? Friesland started this. This Friesland trying to conquer um, Probably Lundberg. Yeah. No. Liege comes in and then the Emperor, Sweden and Volgast. This is not matched up, but Prussia isn't moving her armies. Uh, maybe, maybe there's an understanding. There might be an understanding here. Oh. I, I, I think we... Yeah, because uh, Prussia's we, not actually doing anything, it's just allowing this to unfold. Prussia, uh, we, we, we checked this before, Lundberg is Prussia's vassal, I believe. No, they're not. They're just allies. Um, 
But Friesland needs Lundberg to form Hanover. That's what we were talking about before, was Hanover tag switching. So I think we're about to see a Hanover, which is... Aren't they the, uh, the, the baby sick yellow color nation? No, I, I, I thought are. they were like an orangey color, but I, I, right, it's been a while know, since it's, I've it's seen Westphalia them. It's is the baby sick yellow color. <laughs> like, just, I, was re I really thought that that for a second was just Prussia going, all right, Friesland, it's time to die. Go check on Jerusalem. They got a little bigger. <laughs> they did. Uh, they've still got the same they issue. Got, I don't know how Jerusalem did not win the contest for worst border gore yesterday because their their borders are horrible. The corruption is growing. They have no inflation. They have no missionary maintenance. What up? Ah, aha. A body. Aha. Aha. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> oh, where's, the, where's that province? There's the second one down. It's way out there. Okay. Okay, so that is what we were looking for. Which is, I think they just uh, took that in the last one. So, now, how close are the rebels there to firing? Zero unrest. There's zero unrest. Recent, uh, recent uprising, minus 100. It's not going to happen. Oh, no. It's not going to happen uh, for that, a while. That modifier is going to block them for a while. Oh, that's, that's, okay. So, they, that's what we were hoping to see yeah because that'll just... allow them to raid almost everybody they are within range for and gi given the state of the world that's a lot of money i mean every 10 years that's probably probably looking at what we're from where they are right now 1500 2000 ducats something like that but um caravans tra traded some cores to serbia probably an agreement yeah, well, definitely an agreement because it, it was done through trade. That, that yeah, because uh, Carmen cool. had some down in, um, uh, like the Peloponnese yeah. too. Huh. Uh, we wow. got we got some blue flames. Prussia and the, the Netherlands. I. Dutch conquest I, of I think the, yeah, I think this is a nothing war. I yeah, think I think that's is, another. I think that's uh, another non-entity. Netherlands aren't part of the empire. They're eating part of the empire. There, there's probably some tacit understandings of uh, who gets to eat what right now. Yeah. Shame. Then see what there's the Hanover. There it's hideous. Yeah, it's it's the baby duke colored one. I was like right. Well, it's kind of minty. It's, yeah, it's minty actually. The, the, uh, yeah, it's not as bad as I think it used to be uh, in my head. Did they pick the Hanoverian ideas? They did. Okay. They're not bad. Okay. Damage, uh, fire damage received minus 15% is pretty nice. Combined with the defensive and quantity ideas that they've got. That could be really nice. And they also get construction discipline. cost and trade power and discipline. Not that they have it yet. No, but they will do as soon as they also get that minus 15% fire received, yep. which does make them a, a little better than they were. Okay. I think that was a good move from them. Also, it's nice to see a fresh tag on the map. And the Pope just, uh, I think the Pope just, I, th I think I saw the typeface moves. I think the Pope must have grabbed yeah, some uh, I think Castile they, there. They grabbed some more um, Iberia, yeah. That that big slab of Milan sticking into Serbia is pretty hideous. Oh, I told you the border gold would be disgusting over there. Mm-hmm. That's pretty ugly. I, I feel like the uh, European pro uh, powers are not going to allow Serbia to keep expanding into into Central Europe like this. They, they've got to they've got to stop them at some point. Look at that Georgia, though. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, they grab yes, a huge a really nice slab of land. Well. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's, rat, I, I think Georgia's well. probably got the le one of the least border gores right yeah. now because they've just got that perfect name placement. And we all know that's what matters. Gujarat formalized their borders with the Timurids a little bit. They didn't take too much into there. In fact, they didn't take enough that I don't think that would get in the way of a Persia if Georgia wanted to switch. I think they've left I'm so I'm so, I'm so proud of Georgia. Check uh, check their um, corruption again. Corruption. Let's see. Let's see if they've got it down to well, twelve. Oh, they're making hey. great down to twelve. Fantastic. They're making great progress on that. 
Global trade fired in Den Haag. Global trade is present in the world. It formed, obviously, in the Netherlands. The Netherlands are going to accept that very quickly and just spiral in power. Uh, it needs to, the presence needs to spread. It's already spread to Amsterdam. I don't know. If okay, there is a there is a mutual defensive pact that is formed between Carmen, uh, Jerusalem, Serbia, and Georgia. So they have all banded together and agreed to not fight each other. Okay. So there is a, uh, def a non-aggression. There's it, it is a non-aggression and the mutual defensive pact between those four. Okay. So that's that's this area. It's the and, height uh, of the Byzantine Empire. Because <laughs> it keeps because it keeps coming up. Carmen cannot form Rome. Um, Georgia has a single province that they require, and they're not giving it up. They need uh, Ezerum for yep. Rome. Funny, funny enough. So we're not going to see a Rome unless there is a a significant change. How those are body rebels? Oh, oh, making progress. They're doing yeah, good. They're, they're, they're doing, they're doing the thing. They're doing the thing. There's a second oh, stack we got of a, them now. We got a second stack now, so it's starting to steamroll. Yeah, here they go. Almost forty percent of the way there. Making let's good progress. go, bodies. Uh, let's pull up in the great powers. Take a look at that. We haven't looked at that. In a yes, while. I can't click it. Thank you. There you go. You Russia can, you is can the hide number the one great power, so followed by Ethiopia, then the Netherlands, then Milan, then Ruthenia. Ruthenia is above Prussia right now in great power status. Ruthenia and has been, like, quietly... Russia's little buddy. ...sneaking up the rankings. Yeah. Considering they went from Ryzan, who was a march of Crimea, to backstabbing Crimea, to Ruthenia, becoming friends with Russia, to being fifth in the great powers right now, that's that's... That's some good gaming there. That's some really good gaming. Prussia, yeah, they've, been, they've had a very interesting game. Sixth place, then the papacy, not not expected. And then obviously Ming, because despite the fact they're being milked by Russia, they are still the mandate of heaven and have no Ming explosion. Sadly, it's always fun to see. Um, Jerusalem is at war with Ethiopia. Big. That uh, that's movement. a lot of blue. There's a lot of blue flames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, look at this. It's Jerusalem versus. Uh, it's and they're conquering Aksum against Ethiopia, uh, Bengal, Andalusia, um, Kilwa. Is is, that, a, is a, that seems like a bad idea right now. Considering they're trying to flip to a body, is this a phony war? I'm wondering if it is because you don't Prussia want... I, I mean, if... Yeah, because they're still trained. It's probably a phony war. What's going on with Prussia now? Prussia? What's, what's going on? With blue Russia? flame on Prussia. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. This is an actual war by the looks of it. There's France is here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. No, Prussia's men aren't moving. <laughs> oh, God damn. Uh, what is this? Yeah, this is a French purge of Palatinate heresy. This is the French just cleaning up the Palatinate. Oh, uh, what chat's saying is that uh, the vassals can't, the, the Abadi rebels can't force um, the, uh, the conversion while at war. So what they're hoping to do is get the rebels to convert more land then end it for all the free conversion right because then you can basically get above 100 percent. which is okay. the phoniest phony war that ever phony to war uh, lame but at least we got some real blood going right this is this real please tell me this is real it's not ben it's not real this is a phony war too oh yep. come on and now Lithuania is being called against Russia, is calling them against Russia, as Russia is going and cleaning up Lithuania, but that's going to break the alliance between Prussia and Russia. I just want to see, is it too much to ask to get several dozen people together and just have them beat the hell out of each other? Is it too much to ask? Come on! This is honestly, they're, they're just, oh. it's because I'm here. As soon as I leave in... What well, yeah, are. because we're we've been going for a while now. Yeah, I'm here for another forty minutes. It's gonna switch over to Attaway, and and he's gonna get all of the blood. I want blood. Okay, so Brilliant. we're gonna we're gonna get some Prussian conversation here in a moment. How are you doing, uh, emissary from Prussia? What's going on with you guys right now? Well, uh, the Council of Three Dukes found that last war was uh, an absolute madness. Two million people died for uh, honestly not much gain for any side. 
and while our entry was righteous, it might have been a mistake. Uh, we were slightly too eager on uh, our entry into the war and did not particularly anticipate what uh, that might precipitate. On the other hand, the situation seems to be rather peaceful in Europe. We are friendly with uh, basically everybody within reach, which seems to be maddening the stream to no end. Yeah, I, it, it is. I want blood. I came here we're, for blood. I, we're, we're all screaming for blood, and there's just, there's nothing. <laughs> well, the Council of Three Dukes would like to inquire as to who uh, the streamers and the chat in general think would be uh, just causes for the Prussians to join. Okay, chat. Who 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 should Prussia hit next? <laughs> who are who do, who should we begin punitive expeditions on, or maybe who is who is deserving of uh, Prussian help? Well, other oh, than Georgia, everybody knows Georgia is deserving of oh, Prussian who's help. Deserving there's Prussian a there's a help. fair bit of uh, Carmen needs to go popping up. <laughs> I mean, that seems to be a popular position. Kill the Pope. Well, the interesting thing would be though we've we've already we've discussed this. If you attack Karaman, Serbia, Georgia, and Jerusalem would come in. But right now, Jerusalem is well; they're almost done. Almost done. But Serbia is someone that Prussia you've recently aided. Would you be in a position to be okay with beating down on the little guy? That's not really your stance. If I'm if well, I'm correct, as here. much as much as it would sadden us to have to fight. Uh, with our erstwhile allies, we are uh, first and foremost dedicated to justice and fairness. And if the viewers, who are uh, neutral observers and thus obviously the most uh, discerning of justice, think uh, that uh, uh, the Prussian army should march there, then the Prussian army shall. I am actually being contacted by my co rulers. And request and the request that I announced it on stream, the Prussian army will march down to fight in Karaman. We oh. will allow Serbia to stay out of the fight, and we would even prefer if they did. And should the Georgians uh, decide that a little bit of revenge is oh. uh, on the plate, we will be glad to have them join us. Um, chat would like uh, asked if uh, Prussia plans to form Germany at any point. Uh, we are actually having very good relations with uh, basically every other person holding territory in Germany, so that seems extremely unlikely. Gotcha. That that sounds like a solid no, folks. That's a yeah, no Germany, just Prussia. What is it? But Germany? Prussia v. Carbon 2.0, I think everybody would be well on board for. Mm -hmm. Especially Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, anything that makes the Georgians happy is uh, on my book something good. Yeah, I was glad to be here. Have a nice day. Well, I I would be perfectly happy to see the Prussian Space Marines marching down to Constantinople again. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. a little bit bad for oh God. Do I feel bad for Carmen? Do I or do I not? It. I feel like I'm gonna go with no. I don't feel bad for them. The I'm, I'm gonna is, go out of solid. They're in a massive hug box right now. Yep. But they've allied themselves to the hug box rather than trying to worm their way out of it. Rebels Jerusalem. are gone in Jerusalem. They're still Catholic. What happened? Oh, I need to go, go to observer mode. And then no, you, you need you need over. to get rid of the tab. Oh, okay. and, and, uh, huh? What happened? They're just gone. I th I think they may have bungled that. No, it, it all converted. The land converted, but their country didn't convert. Okay. Um. So they didn't accept it. They they ah oh, okay. Chat's got it. They broke. Not all of land had been converted. So they, they got a lot of a body land converted, but the rebels didn't uh could force the demand. So I they, they, it was a bit of a bungle there. And now their unity is even... Okay, so they had 7% unity before. It's even worse now. 2%. Oh, they they have no devotion because of it. Oh, man. Poor Jerusalem. It's not It's not exactly... I really wanted to see a body Jerusalem. 
but uh, it's going to be a long time before we get another uh, shot at that. Good day. Hello. Good hello. day. Uh, emissary from the Netherlands. How are you doing? How are things going? Um, we Elfrice is going just fine. So we have been checking out the economics tab over and over and over again, and your lead is growing quite quick. You are by far the richest nation in the world. Is Was that the plan? That was the plan all along, but it is not just our wealth. It is everyone's wealth. Just ask Brittany. Just ask Prussia. Just ask Georgia. Each of these nations are, are sharing in Dutch wealth, and many other nations would be welcome to as well. We only desire peace. Also, we were noticing that you haven't taken the institution yet, yet you're almost 200 ducats ahead of the second place economic power. As soon as you take that global trade, that's just going to completely spiral even further, is it not? Uh, true, and we are only just now beginning to colonize the Spice Islands. So, we were and at that. yeah, and we have just signed a, a pact, uh, which hopefully will be publicized very soon. Let me just uh, double check here. Yep, it was um, just published in there. Yeah. And this pact uh, secures uh, the trade from the Spice Islands uh, can go uninterrupted through the trade nodes in Western Africa directly into the English Channel. So we expect that our riches will only spiral further uh, and further out of control. Uh, is there anything else we should look out for from the Netherlands in the coming 20 years or so? Um, we are intending to to open diplomatic negotiations for future peace and prosperity in Europe. We do not want uh, a great war. So if there is peace and prosperity in the next 20 years, then I think that you can um, you can cite Dutch success in this. Um, okay, thank you very, so very much. You can look forward to nothing happening is what we're trying to say. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't mind if nothing else um, if there's no more blood at all, I'm okay with that because I'm not missing out on anything. So thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, I was hoping to see conflict between Andalusia in Africa uh, via the Dutch, but we have there's a player amicable war. relations there too. We have a player war. I don't know how this is lining up. This well, is I'm, uh, I'm, Wait, is that the carb in Prussia? But, wait, what is this? Prussia's in this war. Let's go is check. This the, is this uh, a real war? Finally, is this a real war? Is there are troops moving? There are Prussian troops moving towards Georgia. We might actually have a real war, folks. The blue, oh. the beacons are lit. It's over, Caraman. Ruthenia is conquer. Is it's the Ruthenian conquest of Caraman? Andalusia has joined, but it's Ruthenia, Mazovia, Nogai, and Prussia versus Caraman Air it's, and Andalusia a, at the moment. It, I, I, ooh, there's already peace treaties going there, out. It's an effect. I just heard it. I just heard the peace treaty get declined. Oh no! Um, or or may have been a uh, uh, an alliance. Prussians so are Prussians are standing. I'm not. By. I'm not convinced They're we're not actually moving. going to see conflict here. I think Come we're going on. to get negotiations and a peace treaty. I don't think we're going to really see George a fight. Is, I don't believe George it. Is not in a position to help the help Caraman. Caraman. George, I wouldn't. If I was George, I wouldn't help Karim out at all. I would just use the opportunity of them dying to grab some good land. I, I again, even if there is fighting, this seems pretty one-sided. Oh, military, military access has been had. There are Prussians yep. moving towards Caraman. Here it comes. Here we go. It's Russian. I, Russians I, moving through the Caucasus with the aid of Ruthenians. Caraman is currently blocking at its capital, not knowing that Georgia was just given access. Does, is that in violation of their non-aggression treaty? Is what I, I want. I, it, it's technically not aggressive. And as we all know, non-aggression uh, treaties are very much as worded. Yep, they are very much as worded. Andalusia isn't moving its men to help right now. So is Caraman just being left to die? Where, which is how long until those troops show up on the back door? There they are. Oh, there they are. A caraman has just got sight of 60,000 Prussians and 77,000 Ruthvinians at their, their... See, now what you now what you want to see is somebody giving Prussia while their troops are stuck on another continent. 
the hammer has fallen. We're on a mission from God. Is the message we've just been re- we've just received from Prussia. This is a message of faith. I, I don't know how, where Andalusia is going to stand on this. Are they just going? I think they're going to have to just let them die. They're not. They're not. Ready. They're, they haven't moved their troops an inch. They're not actually helping. They're not actually helping. This is it. This is the death of Caraman. We're seeing. I don't know how much they're uh, going to be destroyed from. I'm this. just shaking my head here. This is yeah. this is com- entirely one sided. Even though it is actual conflict, I'm going to give this a not a real war stamp of disapproval. <laughs> I mean, it's it's fun to see you know some conflict finally, but I mean the Carbon can't even fight back. So George, George is here for, for us to talk. Uh, oh, Georgia. That's so. Georgia. You technically have a non-aggression pact with with Karaman. We and have a non-aggression. Was, is 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 granting your their enemies access not aggressive? Because technically speaking, it is not aggressive. Where where do you stand uh, on it? Um, we are currently delegating which who can and cannot give mill access. We're about to fix that issue. But um, as far as far as the pack goes, non-aggression defensive pack, we had a clause written in that we are under no obligation to defend Caraman. Oh, nice. Oh, right. Okay. That, that was written in. Screw you the, pack, the, pack, in nice. the pact was called the Snake Grovels, and we're like, we'll join this defensive pact to defend Serbia and Jerusalem, but we are under no obligation to defend Caraman. Oh, so there was a clause specifically for Georgia. And Georgian Caraman. blood... Georgian blood will not die for Caraman soil this day. Oh my god, it's the even the battles are one-sided. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the that. morale difference. 6.7 to 4.2. Remember, Ruthenia a minute ago had a morale of 7.4. Weren't they the best in the world? Oh, morale? wow. They, wow. They, yeah, they are... They, Ruthenia is a nation to be worried So about. now the question is, Georgia, uh, you plan on gobbling up some delicious car... Oh, oh there we go. go. Oh, caraman has gone. Caraman has <laughs> surrendered. Unconditional surrender. They uh, due, due, due to the non-aggression nature, we're not going to doubt them, especially now that they've totally surrendered. But um, that no, pact right will now, be up but... in twenty years. That pact will be yeah. up in twenty years. Um, we have stated then... since the beginning of this event that we do not want to move any further west than we already have. Okay. So we'll we'll see if we change our minds later on, depending on the scope of the other nations around us but right now we're content just eating up the timurids yeah i mean it's, it's have, come up for a now. lot because chat keeps going why is carbon not farming room but georgia has just enough land to completely block them out of the tax they pitch. they've asked us to grant them that province for free or under monetary issues we're like we'll talk about that later you have so far lost your rum privileges <laughs> we'll see if you can get it back in our favor but due to what has happened now i don't think that'll ever happen now I have a question for Georgia. Is yes. there a tag switch in your future? We're keeping it in our back pocket, but <laughs> so far our Georgian pride is still strong. Um, honestly, we're attached to the tag Georgia, but um, there's there's no reason for us to truly go to a tag switch unless we feel like it's absolutely necessary and we need that little edge that Persia can give us. Byzantium's back. Byzantium's back. I was like, what happened with that piece? Byzantium is back. Is, was that uh, it? Was that we, we that heard happened? We heard Ruthenia was potentially going to do something weird like that. Soon was that it? Byzantium protected by Prussia. Ugh. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this changes things. We're going to need to get our Diplo heads together and see what we're going to do to react to this. Yeah, but... we, because, because uh, of those kind of events, we will let you go. But uh, thank you for coming and uh, joining us. Yeah, I think I shed some light on that pact we made. Yeah, thank you very much, Georgia. Yep. All right, enjoy the stream. So let's just pop. O- we'll just pop open the religious map mode here, and uh, everybody knows Orthodox is powerful, especially in multiplayers. And you can clearly see a lot of players have gone the Orthodox route. Who's Gujarat attacking? Let's pop on over and see what's going on. Uh, it looks like the Tims are being uh, partitioned between Gujarat and Georgia. Timurids, Hormuz, Malwa, yeah. Just uh, filling out the areas between players right now. So, uh, observer mode. Look at look at the Dutch taking yeah. over the coast of Africa here. They've got so much monetary Ooh. influence. Is this is this Ireland down here? Or no, that's Kilwa in Patagonia. 
Brazil has formed as a tag now. Brazil. And we finally have Brittany moving into the native lands in Central America. As per they, they're their finally team. doing it. Oh, in Ireland too. Okay, so they they decided to divvy up the land and both of them are going in together right now. Everything's about the same over here. I am I gotta say, I was I was really hoping for a bloodbath. Ooh, and what's going on in is is the Pope doing what I thought the Pope was doing? The Pope is doing exactly what I thought the Pope was going to do. They're taking out Portugal. So we're going to be taking a short break here. Guys, take this time to rehydrate, get some food. Uh, we'll be going to a, a quick break. Let the players do the same because we have been playing all morning and they do continue to go on all day. Sad that we didn't get the bloodbath we were looking for. We did get the caravan stomp we asked for, but uh, I don't know what it's going to do for world relations right now. And I'm very interested to see where this all goes. There is a French war going on. There's a fr uh, another Franco-Prussian war going on. I'm, I, I want to see exactly what it is, though. French purge out. Uh, now it's a phony war. It's another phony war here. So, yeah, we, 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 will, we will let this continue after the break. And uh, we will see you pretty much very soon. Well, others will. Uh, well, yeah, the, the next host team will see you very soon. I'm going Hopefully now. the next host team gets a bloodbath. Exactly. That's what we're hoping for. We want the world war to start after this break. See you soon. Thanks, everybody. They are fighting. It's not a fake player oh. war. <laughs>